Hello my fellow slayers, this is Maluncha and welcome back to Dauntless. The patch for 1.0 is out and there is a whole lot to look at. We got a new weapon, we got the bounty system, the new dire behemoth, a new hunt pass, the twin sense mastery card, a skip scene, Aether Strikers quest and a friendly excursion. Uh, basically friendly excursion is a quest that we're gonna have to do with somebody from your friend list and if you complete it you basically can get three new dice that are gonna be implemented into the system uh, with this quest. Uh, yeah, the Aether Strikers, the new weapon quest is here, so I'm not really sure what to start with. Uh, I guess we'll start with uh, quests and bounties. So yeah, the regular challenges, the weekly challenges are done, so we don't have any quests right now, but if you look at the site you can see bounties on here, so level your hunt pass your way. The bounties lets you choose how to level up your hunt pass. The more difficult the bounty, the more hunt pass experience you will earn. There is no time limit on completing the bounties except the length of the hunt pass itself. Team up to tackle bounties with your friends and earn hunt pass experience even faster. So that's not something that was actually in there. Uh, apparently you get more, more experience if you hunt with uh, your friends instead of random strangers. Okay, so yeah, we have available uh, bounties. I uh, got 60 tokens and then uh, I think you get, uh, was it two tokens each day? And you have a chance to get a token uh, every uh, kill you get. So yeah, we can draft a bounty here. Uh, let's see. So dodge through 25 projectile attacks, complete six patrol hunts with X counts as two and complete six hunts hammer counts as two. So uh, I do need to work on my X uh, Mastery, so I'm gonna take this one. Draft bounty hammer time. Ah, oh, that's sad because we could have uh, done uh, basically the hammer uh, at the same time. Cold and cold hunt four behemoths with a frost weapon. Complete the hunt shock patrol four times, and then with the hammer blast, get ten interrupts on any behemoths. I still need a lot of interrupts for my mastery, so I'm gonna take this one and then draft the bounty where the heart is. Scatter heart lily sixty times. Uh, Smash and blast, slay five behemoths, human hammers or repeaters, so this is a good one. And then complete the hunt, heroic patrol five times, basically, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward and easy. But I'm gonna take this one, because I already have a hammer one, and then basically I can complete uh, those in the same uh, manner. And then the last bounty, shots fired, complete ten patrol hunts, repeaters, count as two, with the uh, explosive disturbance, with the consist... Uh, con Concussive grenade, get eight interrupts on any behemoth, and then complete the hunt blaze patrol eight times. So I'm gonna do the uh, 10 patrols with repeaters, um, and that's gonna reward me 140 uh, for the silver one, the gold one is 100, and then the bronze ones are 20. So yeah, the difference in what you actually get. And then down below we can abandon hunts, but uh, yeah, you do not get uh, you do not get your token back. So basically, uh, abandoning a bounty and then taking a new one will consume another bounty. But these are the four bounties we have right now, and this is a new way to get those rewards towards your uh, well towards the hunt pass. Uh, what else was in there? Uh, yeah, the quest that we're gonna need to complete. We have a couple new quests, so let's take the quest first before we actually move into that section. Uh, I do believe there is a new behemoth uh, out there as well. Uh, patrols. Uh, the chests are looking a little bit different. They had a new icon. Uh, I do believe in heroic patrol that was on the um, on the patch notes. Uh, so every behemoth that was uh, with the introduction of the new behemoth, uh, the uh, well, T uh, Tempest Born Stormclaw, uh, basically going to Heroic Patrol Plus, uh, they made it that Heroic Patrol, all behemoths that are in Heroic Patrol, as you can see here right now in this list, will be in Heroic Patrol Plus as well, uh, making sure that you do not get, because uh, that was uh, a really big complaint of a lot of people, that you do not get like, Shroud seven times in a row and Rezakiri 20 times in a row. So this should help a little bit with mixing and matching uh, the behemoths up in your runs. Uh, just a little information uh, in, in there. Um, so yeah, Trials has a new one this week and it is um, Rockfall Scarns. So definitely gonna need them as I need a hundred more points to actually get to the new repeaters, which has a new mastery card, I would believe. Yeah. In here so we have a mastery card now for the strikers uh, as well 
and then with the repeaters we should have a mastery card in here uh, undiscovered so yeah complete objectives to earn the rewards uh, this is basically I think oh, is it the new is it the new chamber that we're gonna get oh this actually makes me wonder oh a new barrel that's no no we got all the barrels so there should be a new for the twin sun repeaters there should be a new mastery card but the only one I see is either of the strikers so maybe it is that one maybe we get a new barrel we'll see we're gonna work on some quest guys and uh, find out what else they all brought into the game so who's got the quests for me ah here they are Marcus Boer limited time friends this indeed so Bose and Marcus wants you to slay 10 behemoths while hunting with a slayer from your friend list slay 10 behemoths with a friend on your team the springtime die the heat wave die and the heaven die so if you want three new dies I basically have to complete this quest I'm not gonna take it because it's a limited uh, time I'm gonna kind of do it on my on my own um, see because I only have one online right now so meet the master this is what we are really gonna look at today the new weapons uh, meet the master cat would like you to meet the scare uh, scared yeah I thought it always thought I always thought it was sacred uh, but it's actually the scared master and learn about Aether strikers uh, hope you're ready to expand your fighting skills rook an old friend a mentor of mine in fact has arrived in ramsgate and looks like he's here to stay no one knows her real name but we call her the scared master for reasons i think you'll find obvious she brought some weapon designs that i think are going to be a big help in your efforts and she and old arkan have been perfecting the design over the last few weeks and now she's offered to start equipping my slayers with these new etheric strikers I'm looking forward to training with them myself. Haven't you always wanted to be able to punch a Shrike in the face? I know I have. Fair skies. So yeah, this one is gonna lead us towards uh, the new uh, Fender, basically. Um, and she's over here with a impressively new building. I'm not really sure what's on top there or what it's supposed to be on top there. I suppose probably some Aether, um, presuming this game. Uh, the scared master we've got some dauntless ah it's a store uh, so basically yeah some skins uh, already in here for the fountains we got some aether strikers here on display yeah, sacred master speak. meet the master she has some there. scars on her face she I think she's blind on one eye if I or is it still open I, I don't know I don't know uh, I have been expecting you, Slayer. I know as I, I am known as the Scared Master. Once I led to the Temple of the Adamant Fist, a hidden refugee devoted to the fighting arts, but our temple has fallen to a terrible behemoth that drove us from our home. I have come here to perfect and share weapons that I will believe help repay the behemoth for the horrors they've caused. Catherine tells me you are one of her more promising finds, one who is especially adept at learning how to use new weapons. Holy hell, <laughs> somebody spawned in front of me. Uh, and I too sense a powerful inner strength in you. This is good since Aether Strikers are not simple tools to be used as one would use a hammer or a shovel. A <laughs> shovel as a weapon, nice. Aether Strikers draws on your own energy as well. So. Cat would like you to meet the scared, ma uh, sacred, uh, scared master. Uh, I'm gonna pronounce that wrong a lot of time. Can Striker training. The sacred, uh, scared master wants you to demonstrate a powerful adamant vault attacking, uh, use uh, attack using your new aether strikers. Uh, deal 5,000 damage with adamant bolt while tempest form and karma breaker effects are active, and the rewards are three blitz tonic, three frenzy tonics, and seven neutral orbs. Except uh, the Aether Strikers I have just granted you are the simplest form of these weapons, but they will serve to demonstrate whether you have the skill to wield them. But if you are as talented as Catherine says, you should have no tr trouble. Uh, she's lying, Catherine. I'm not that skilled. I would like you to demonstrate the most powerful form of attack, the Adamant Bolt, while hunting a behemoth. In order to do this, you will first need to activate your Tempest form and the Karma Breaker abilities. Good luck, Slayer. Let us see what you can do. Try to stay alive. So, Recruiter Strikers we've got. Uh, so, yeah. Do we have a new or an empty loadout? I don't think we have an empty loadout. 
I'm gonna take my hammer load out for now and kind of see. Uh, ah, here they are at top of the list, all the way, the way on the right. So they're really, really uh, low powered. <laughs> uh, so special adamant bolt, unleash energy and a focused blast, dealing 900 damage to the first enemy hit. Deals up to a plus 100% damage when Tempest Form and Karma Breaker effects are active. Mod, no mod equipped as we have no mods yet. So, okay, apparently we're gonna need to... Oh, and I love it how they actually are... F well, they're floating on your back, but yeah, they're controlled with the aider of yourself, I, I do believe, or your own uh, power. Can we upgrade these? Slayer, good to see you. Oh, the hunger has a new icon, a yellow icon. Okay, okay, so exotics got a new color in the game, I presume. Yeah, Maltnetic, new color, nice. Um, we do not have a way to upgrade it yet, so yeah, we'll look Stay into alive. that layer. First, we're gonna need to do the quest, and that is actually uh, deal 5,000 damage with adamant bolts while Tempest Form and Karma Breakers effects are active. Uh, that's gonna be a struggle. Uh, I'm gonna need to look up what combos. Oh no, I don't need to look it up. I can see so focused assault uh, three left and then spirit barrage one left two right and then mighty squall three right. So yeah, four left and five right. Basically, that should not be too hard. Uh, map what behemoth are we gonna pick out? They really have a low amount of. Um, damage right now so i'm not really sure which one i should actually take um ration uh, no maybe a blaze behemoth cherok is one that stands still a lot right well, we should be able to do fire red cherok let's see but it it's really low damage so it's gonna take a lot actually uh, maybe you should go lower I'm gonna go lower. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't want to be it. Uh... Oh, no crap crap. I wanted to make a solo run. Let's uh, cancel hunt. Is it gonna work? Oh, it's working. Canceling. So it's actually showing now when it's canceling. That's really nice. Yeah, that's something they changed as well. That wasn't in here before. Spazoot, Blaze, Cherok, Private Hunt. Yeah, I hope that once after this quest we can actually start upgrading it. I'm not really sure what components we are gonna need to upgrade it. Uh, it should be with Wills, as he is the weaponsmith. Um, and yeah, they... Uh, oh, it's a white man. I thought I actually completed the quest already. From here it kind of looks yellow. But... Nice shot though. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna see if I can get those combos uh, ready. I'll bring you back once the run starts I love the equip and unequip it really looks so nice that alone just just makes me happy so here we go um, so apparently we need to use uh, we have three abilities on top well three three bars on top uh, that's the three bars of the three combinations that we can do three light strikes one light and two heavies and then three heavy strikes so basically they all ooh, lost my controls over there a little bit <laughs> they all activate seeing uh, different boosts uh, the first boost with the light stri uh, light hits that we can get is a 20% uh, speed buff so if you do your hold ability you basically activate your speed if you do your uh, if you do the press ability you basically do a dash through it which res should reset the timer that's a one so now one and two heavy now we have this one active so now we have the damage over time and now we need to activate two and then we need to activate three all oh, right i missed it come on come on before the timer runs out refresh it ah i can refresh it okay so start again one then activate Activate two. Come on. Um. Yeah, my buffs are not active anymore. This is this is kind of tricky. <laughs> this is kind of tricky, actually. Fun though. <laughs> so activate one. Good dodge there. So activate it. Get the speed boost. And one light, uh, three light attacks. Then one light attack and two heavy attacks. And I missed it. 
Re refresh timer. That's it. So now we can do Tempest for uh, we can do the Karma Breaker, and then we need to do the combo again. And then the big combo, the third one, we need to activate the three heavy hits. That's active, and now we should do the beam. And I don't think I did any damage to that. <laughs> Okay, one active, two active, one active, Karma Breaker, one active, two active, and I missed it, come on, come on, come on, beam, perfect, that's uh, basically the heaviest damage you can do, so yeah, activate your one ability, then reset your ability again, activate it, then do the two combo to get the second ability up. Make a heavy hit that does damage over time and once these two buffs are active, you should activate all three buffs again. So that's the first one. Come over here. That's the second one and then three heavy hits. That's that and now the beam. Nice. Okay, so that should actually be the quest, what you need to do. So yeah, uh, to repeat again, you activate your one ability, uh, so three light punches. You activate it uh, with the hold ability, you get the speed, you activate one again. Then do the second one to activate two. You do the karma breaker for the damage over time, now you have two actives. You do the one again, and now you do all the combos in a row. To actually activate all three of them. So you can actually do the beam, can I get out of here? And I don't think I did any damage there. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, come on. Don't run away like that. That's the wrong one. There we go, that's what we need. That's what we needed. Okay, let's see if we can do that again. Speed active. Yeah, that was not correct. Okay, so I think we've got it. Uh, it's actually a really long sequence of combinations that you're gonna need to do. Um, yeah, quickly to repeat it. Uh, so you're gonna need three light assaults to actually activate your first one. Then hold your ability to activate the speed boost. Then you're gonna need to do the three light ones again. One light and two heavies to activate the second ability. You need to active, uh, hold the ability again to actually do the uh, Karma Breaker and the damage over time. That way you have the speed buff and the overtime damage. And then you need to activate your first, second and third ability to actually do the shot that we need to uh, get the quest done. So that's one. Boost. Two. And now three. No. Three lights, two and three heavies, and the beam. Oh, that wasn't right apparently, we didn't have one active, so let's try it again. That's one, speed active, too late yeah that's basically it's it's a whole you need to activate one uh, use its ability uh, not the sprint one but uh, the actual hold ability you need to use one and then t uh, combo one and combo two to actually activate the second ability uh, for the damage over time and then you need to activate combo one two and three to actually do the light beam 
That should be how you do... Ah, oh, there we go! We actually did the quest. Perfect! Okay, let's see what uh, what the follow-up is. Whew, uh, my mind is all over the place right now. <laughs> Trying to fathom. Um, well, I, I basically did it, but... Um, yeah, it, it was a kind of... Um, Kind of tough. As you can see, I was Mastery 2 already. Uh, I can tell you right now that I tried it four times. And four times it actually didn't give me any damage Well, for the quest. Uh, and then I realized with this last attempt that I actually needed to... Act, uh, well, yeah, like I explained it already uh, three or four times. Uh, what I needed to do. Worked. So, yeah, let's uh, see what quest she's gonna give next. Striker training. When I first met Catherine, she had a strong instinct but lacked discipline. It's clear to me that she has come quite a long way and is indeed an excellent judge of Slayer abilities. You may consider these Aether Strikers a starter set. Working with your Aether Smith Archon Drew, we all have also learned how to forge strikers that turn the power of the behemoths themselves against them. When you have the components, stand ready to help you craft them. Oh, she is, she's gonna craft them? It's kind of like the repeater uh, vendor, uh, where you cr craft your repeaters. So yeah, quest complete. And that's the only quest she actually has? Oh, I thought it may be a follow-up quest. So yeah, now we can get into the menu. Uh, Gnasher ones with Rage Hunter. And then the Technique Cell, Utility Cell, Quill Shot, uh, Shrike. The Recruiter one, the Kshai, Rezakiri, Rift Stalker, yeah, everyone is in here. And I'm kind of wondering, uh, Rift Stalker might be actually pretty good for the orbs, but as it's uh, more of a knockout set, I'm kind of um, overpowered, maybe. Yeah, I got a lot to build and a lot to see. Stormcross, Graf, Weighted Strikes, Stagger Damage, Weighted Strikes. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do the Scar one. Spangar, it's Weighted Strikes as well. Uh, Savagery, 20% damage versus Wounded Parts. Blade Run, Helion, Overpower. So yeah, it's gonna be Scar or Pangar one, as it is um, uh, well a blunt weapon that deals Stagger Damage. I kind of want to make sure that um, we have a technique and defense. What does Spangar have? Or Scarn have? Yeah, they both have the same. I kind of wish that there was uh, an attack one in here. Power one. Um, that would... Yeah, power cell in there. That would make it a little easier. So yeah, I still need to check out which ones I am going to craft. But that was basically the quest and how to do it, guys. Um, I still have one more quest to do and is there anything else that we kind of need to look at? Uh, we did the quest and bounties. Um, so if we do bounties, let's check the accent uh, allies, complete six patrol hunts, X counts as two. Hammer blast, get ten interrupts with any behemoth, slay five behemoths using hammer or repeaters and complete the ten patrol hunts. Um, to actually get the hunt pass in here, the hunt pass. Uh, timer says on top 30, uh, 34 and we have 85 now so apparently from the kills that we did make we got two new tokens in here because the timer is still at 12 hours but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this episode it's already gonna be a 20 minutes plus episode me talking way too much but yeah the new weapon the fist weapons uh, the Aether Strikers are in the game and I'm gonna wipe a couple times on harder behemoths trying to actually figure out how to do the combos perfectly in a row. But yeah, so far that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.